The global financial markets and the economy have been shaken by the coronavirus outbreak. Many aspects of this are unprecedented and the markets have been reacting quickly. Some of this is even jarring to experienced traders. So let's just take a minute to put this all into context. The financial markets have faced many unprecedented events throughout history. Some more recently, like the Great Recession in 2008 or the internet bubble bursting in 2001. Longer ago, of course, we have the Black Monday crash from 1987 and the stock market crash from 1929. In between, of course, there have been events that felt momentous in their time but turned out to be relatively small. After each of these incidents, the financial markets and the economies that they're based on found their footing and recovered. Um, it was never easy or quick, um, but new industries respond. Some businesses failed. Um, consumers decided to live a different way and to uh, demand new products. Eventually, we got used to this new normal, even though it was very different from the normal that existed beforehand. This isn't meant to minimize the devastating human impact of COVID-19 that we're seeing around the globe or to uh, make light of what is likely to be a, a relatively um, severe recession, but rather to say that we do believe that things will eventually improve. So while the pandemic is new, we're in very familiar territory with respect to the ways that people are behaving in the markets, in market psychology. We've seen um, selling happen quickly, We've seen the crowds move in ways that are disconcerting to investors, but this is, this is familiar territory. This is what markets do when there's uncertainty and fear. Over the past couple of weeks, as I've tried to understand what we're going through, I went back to a book that I first read in 2001 after the internet bubble burst. Uh, it's titled Markets, Mobs, and Mayhem, A Modern Look at the Madness of Crowds by Robert Menschel. It's a reminder of the dangers of crowd psychology, which can work in both positive and negative ways. Sadly, the book's out of print, and when I looked for it online, it's uh, priced uh, very expensively, and maybe that's an indication of its value today as people are trying to figure their way through this. In the book, Menschel takes us through different historical uh, manias including uh, tulip mania uh, back in the 17th century in Holland where people were paying exorbitant prices for tulip bulbs, to the uh, storming of JFK when the Beatles arrived in the US in 1964. And from all of these, he implores investors to try to keep their heads while everybody else is losing theirs. The book is full of quotes, and one of my favorite from the book is from uh, 19th century essayist and philosopher Henry David Thoreau, and I'll read it here. The mass never comes up to the standard of its best member, but on the contrary, degrades itself to a level of the lowest. Financial markets right now are being driven by uncertainty about the path of the virus, uh, about the length and duration of an economic slowdown that appears to be coming, and also about what this will mean for our society. Uh, the markets are being driven by a lot of selling, particularly computerized selling, which we think is amplifying the ups and the downs. In short, the market's being driven by, to, to quote Thoreau, by its uh, lowest member right now. We can't know the direction of the markets in the near term here, but what we can expect is more disorienting volatility. We also know for sure, though, that if we sell now, we're locking in the losses of the last three weeks. What I encourage you to do is to talk to your financial planner or consultant and uh, see if your situation has changed and how they can help you.